Well, I'm going to have to admit failure uh, after looking at this vehicle, putting almost five hours into it, trying to figure out where the ticking sounds coming from, second guessing myself that it's the actual hub actuator. It was not the hub actuator. Look at what it was right there. Look at that line right there. Watch this. Watch this tire. That's the vent for the top of the motor mount on the driver's side. And when you put pressure back on the tires, that lifts all that stuff up into it and it bounces as it's going down the road. It sits there and that thing bounces off the CV axle. I'm gonna zip tie it and let's go drive it. Okay, I've got it all zip tied up out of the way. Put a piece of aluminum tape right there where it's touching that uh, coolant line. And now we're gonna put the bottom back together and go drive it. Okay, here we go. We're leaving the shop right now. Let's see what we got. Super quiet. No more tick sound. You can see here I'm doing 44 mile an hour. That was the fix. So this is what you need to do. You need to take the driver's side motor mount line that goes into the top of it and pull it up to your brake line and zip tie it right there. Take a piece of aluminum foil or that foil tape, not, I say aluminum foil. Take a piece of that foil tape and put it around that line where it rubs up against your lower coolant line that goes back to the trans. And then take a zip tie and zip tie that second vent line that goes across to the passenger side to the one in the pack. Just give it some more security. Tick's gone, completely gone. And you can't even see it. It's tucked way up above the engine back there and it looks like it comes down and it clears it. So that's why in the air, with the CV axles relaxed more in their down position, I never heard that tick. But once you load the tires back up and everything seats back up, all of a sudden, it's laying right back on top of it, and as soon as you get over 5, 10 mile an hour, tick, 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 and that's also why it's a fixed position, so it only hits the clamp on the CV axle bellow. So it's tick, 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 and the faster you go, that's why that tick is not matching the RPM speed completely, and that's why it never matches the engine RPM, because it was right there above that front axle drive actuator, that I thought was the problem because the sound was coming from right there, but I could never see what was up up above that. But then today I'm looking at it with another tech and we're looking at it. I was like, man, something about this is telling me the front axle drive actuator is not the problem. Something else is going on here. And we're looking and we're looking and we're looking. And he looks up there and he says, Rich, you're right. Look right there. That line, it's kind of coming down. It looks like it clears, but if you what if you look at the angle of how it comes down, it, it doesn't clear. You can't see it from the bottom. If you pull the plastic shielding away from the side and you look directly at that line it's laying right on top of the cv axle so i was right about the location i was right about my suspicion but i was about to condemn that front axle drive actuator and that was not the problem so any of you that seen that video before which was not very many i think it was only like 90 people um this is the update to that video and I'm glad I was actually able to find good solid information before doing a 16 hour job, ripping the subframe out of it and everything else to get to the motor mount and blah 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 and remove the front axle drive actuator. That's the fix. Thank you guys.